furloughed from his job as a mechanic during lockdown, Adrian James has adopted a rather unusual hobby. Yes, after spending thousands of pounds on costumes, accessories and carrots, Adrian dresses up as a rabbit, which he calls Pop. Well, we can uh, join him now, uh, go live to Pembrokeshire, uh, to talk about uh, uh, his, uh, his lockdown. I mean, he is obviously a Welsh rabbit himself. <laughs> so, uh, good morning, uh, Adrian. So, uh, it's lovely to talk morning. to you. Thank you for joining us good today. Um, hopefully, we haven't kept you waiting too long. We've got a little, little warm in there. Uh, so, um, yeah, so a bit hot. we can't really see the ears. Show us the ears. It looks a bit like, like a dog at the moment. Oh, there, there you, you are. Go. Enormous. And there you've you made that. No, a local maker made this one for me. Um, uh, his, his name's actually 28 Fours Later um, is the maker who made this for me. Right. Um, okay. But I, I, I do make suits myself. I have had a go uh, recently last year. So. Right. so this is, I mean, I guess, where did the love of rabbits come from in the first place? Um, I th when I was younger, um, my dad bought me uh, a very small little um, stuffed bunny. And uh, I don't know, it just, it kind of grew from there. I started collecting more and more of them. And then uh, I found something called the furry fandom. Mm. Uh, they're like-minded people who um, obviously like their um, stuffies and they like um, the suits and stuff. So um, I started getting into that. And then before I knew it, I was going to um, meets, um, I was going to conventions. I made lo local friends. Um, they're lovely. Uh, so yeah, it's just kind of grew from there. And you wonder, you're quite happy to sort of wonder, because you say the rabbit is your spirit animal, always has been. Um, and, uh, and so you're quite happy to, you, know, you wander down the street uh, and, uh, and revel in the reactions that you get. Yeah, it's great. Uh, you do get quite a few different reactions, but mostly it's positive. Um, loads of smiles and stuff. Um, see kids and stuff, and they give them the high fi and they chase after you and stuff. And yeah, just bring a bit of joy to people, really. Um, I don't ask anything for it. Um, I just put the suit on and just walk around with it and uh, try and put a smile on people's faces if I can. So, so, you know, I mean, we've interviewed many people on this show, all sorts of people, and I think. Uh, a lot of people will be watching this morning going, hang on a minute, what's this all about? Is this sort of a fetish thing? Is there a bit more to this story? But that's not the case for you, is it? No, not really. Um, obviously, like, I'm wearing this suit now and it's extremely hot in you. Um, I'm, I'm not interested. The whole fetish thing, really. Um, it's just far too hot. You but said, yeah, there, there but are... you did you did say not really, right? Then, well, not really. So, <laughs> is there is there like an element when it's on a cool day, or if you've only just put it on, is there a you know an element that you might creep into that? No, I don't think so. Uh, for me, it's about um, making the suits and obviously wearing them, going to conventions and stuff. Um, no, it's not for me that uh, that stuff. So uh, you. The, the, the thing is, I mean, later on in the show, we're talking about picking up hobbies and how good that is for your, you know, to, to, to sort of make your stress levels come down and to be part of a community. We're talking about that with the, with the workshop, with Jay Blades a little bit, having those communities. And you have got that with this. Like you say, you know, the furry community, you've got great friends there. Oh, is everything all right? It's furball. Yeah, so... Well, I've the got uh, stuck in his two throat. friends locally who uh, they make their own suits too. Um, they're always there for me, um, you know, if I'm down or whatever, I can send them a message and they'll cheer me up. Yeah, um, yeah they're really, really nice people. What's happening? <laughs> is your phone, is that a message coming through that's vibrating it? Or is that, what's, yeah. what's going on? That's lettuce for you. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? Um, Are you okay? It's okay, we just, we lost your shot there for a minute. You, I think you... the phone had a message come through. If you were hot, do you want to take the hat? The head off. Oh no, it's okay. Okay, just want to make sure that you're okay in there. Um, so okay. yeah, so so you say uh, that uh, that you, you go to the conventions. You've made actually two of your best friends you met there. Uh yeah. Um, so I when I I had to I was on my own for a few years with it, um, and I hadn't met anyone who was obviously into this stuff. So I actually went up to Cardiff to one of the first meets, and I actually met. One of my uh, closest friends, um, and we're still good friends now. Um, 
What do and they dress? The what do they dress as? Uh, so uh, she's a wolf. Uh, she made she made her own suit. Um, and then uh, my other friend, the monster, is quite cool. Uh, she's got like monster. three eyes. And and what's the um, what's the plan now then? Uh, are you going to make more yourself, or um, are you uh, you expanding in any way? Uh, no, it's I I'm not going to do. Uh, they're called commissions. I I won't do any commissions. Uh, it's really hard to make these suits. Mm. Uh, it's a lot. It's a lot of time. It's very demanding. Um, uh, you know, makers out there, they're so talented um, to make these suits yeah. and sell them and. Then you, it's 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 big it's, it's though. Really I mean, I'm just looking at the size. Well. Of it, it's absolutely, you've got your big collection there. You need a bigger burrow. <laughs> I yeah, uh, I need more space. though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, uh, well, thank you, Adrian. It's great to meet you. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Nice to talk to Take you. Take care. Thanks a lot. Bye bye. Take care. Bye bye. Bye now.